Hello everyone, my name is Julius and once again welcome to JYS English. In this video, we will talk about a topic from a module for grade 5 English, grammatical features in clear and coherent sentences. In this part, we will discuss about subject-verb agreement. Para sa mga bata nating manonood, ang mga explanation na ating gagawin ay Taglish para mas madali ninyong maintindihan ang topic. Our reference for this topic is from the module for Grade 5 English created by Pivot 4A Calabarzon. Subjects and verbs must agree with one another in number, singular or plural. Therefore, if a subject is singular, its verb must also be singular. If a subject is plural, its verb must also be plural. Sa present tense, nilalagyan natin ng S o ng ES ang verb kung ang subject ay singular. Ngunit kung ang subject ay plural, ay gagamitin natin ang original or root form ng verb. Example, the dog eats bones. Since ang subject, dog, ay singular kaya ang verb na eat ay nilagyan natin ng S kaya naging eats. The dogs eat bones. Dito naman, ang subject, dogs, ay plural kaya ginamit natin ang original form na verb. Here are nine subject of verb agreement rules. Number one, a phrase or clause between subject and verb does not change the number of the subject. Hindi na babago ang bilang ng subject dahil sa mga phrase or clause na nasa pagitan ng subject at ng verb. Example, a bag of toys is next to the chair. Ang main subject dito ay ang bag at hindi ang toys. At dahil singular ang subject natin, kaya is ang ating ginamit. Other examples, the four bottles of ketchup are on the fridge. A sack of clothes is burning. Number two. Indefinite pronouns as subjects. A. Singular indefinite pronoun subjects take singular verbs. Here are the singular indefinite pronouns. Each, either, neither, one, no one, nobody, nothing, anyone, anybody, anything, someone, somebody, Something, everyone, everybody, everything. Ang mga ito ay gumagamit ng mga singular verb. Examples, nobody is listening to the teacher. Somebody cleans the floor. B. Plural indefinite pronoun subjects take plural verbs. Here are the indefinite pronoun subjects. Several, few, both, many. Ang mga ito ay gumagamit ng mga plural verb. Example, both of them are good students. C. There are indefinite pronouns that are either singular or plural. Nakadepende ito kung ang kasama nila ay countable or uncountable. Here are the indefinite pronoun subjects that are either singular or plural. Some, any, none, all, most. Examples, some of the students are playing basketball. Since ang kasama ng word na some ay countable, which is yung students, kaya ang ginamit natin ay plural verb. Some of the rice is wasted. Dito naman, Ang kasama ng word na some ay uncountable, which is yung rice, kaya ang ginamit natin ay singular. Number three, compound subjects joined by and are always plural. Examples, a rabbit and a tortoise are racing. My pencil and her pencil are the same. John and Mark 
play basketball every Sunday. Number four, with compound subjects joined by or or nor, the verb agrees with the subject nearer to it. Examples, either the teacher or the students have the keys. Sa sentence na ito, since ang students, which is in plural form, ay ang mas malapit sa verb, kaya ang ginamit natin dito ay plural na verb. Either the students or the teacher has the keys. Dito naman, mas malapit sa verb ay ang teacher, which is in singular form, kaya ang ginamit natin ay singular verb. Number 5. Inverted subjects must agree with the verb. Examples, there is a pen in the box. There are four pencils in my bag. Number six, collective nouns such as group, jury, crowd, team, family, etc. may be singular or plural depending on meaning. Examples, the family is on vacation. Sa example na ito, ang family ay nag act as one, kaya ang gamit natin ay singular verb. The family members are very busy packing up their things. Sa example na ito, ang family members ay nag act as three or more individuals, kaya ang gamit natin ay plural verb. 7. Titles of single entities such as books, Organizations, countries, etc. are always singular. Examples Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a good animated movie. The Philippines is an Asian country. Trinidad and Tobago is a beautiful country. Number 8. Plural form subjects A. Plural form subjects with a singular meaning take a singular verb. Examples News, Measles, Mops, Physics, etc. Example sentences The news is exhausting. Physics is so difficult. B. Plural form subjects with a singular or plural meaning take a singular or plural verb, depending on meaning. Examples, politics, economics, etc. Examples, statistics is my least favorite subject. In this example, ang statistics ay single topic, kaya singular verb ang ating ginamit. The statistics show that many people lost their jobs during the pandemic. Sa example na ito, Ang statistics ay tumutukoy sa maraming data patungkol sa mga tao kaya ang ginamit natin ay plural verb. C. Plural form subjects with a plural meaning take a plural verb. Examples My pants are not clean. Ang pants ay laging plural, katulad din ng scissors, shorts, trousers, at iba pa. A pair of pants is on the table. Sa example na ito, ang subject ay ang word the pair at dahil ang salitang ito ay singular, kaya ang ginamit natin ay singular verb. 9. With subject and subjective complement of different number, the verb always agrees with the subject. Examples my favorite topic is Homes by Longfellow. Homes by Longfellow are my favorite topic. 10. One of those versus only one of those. A. With one of those, blank, who, use a plural verb. Jenny is one of those students who love listening to love songs. Sa example na ito, maliban kay Jenny ay mayroon pang ibang tao na mahilig sa love songs. B. With the only one of those, blank, who, use a singular verb. Jenny is the only one of those students who loves listening to love songs. Sa example na ito, 
si Jenny lang ang mahilig makinig ng love songs. Eleven, the number versus a number. A, with the number of blank, use a singular verb. Example, the number of drug victims is growing. B, a number of blank, use a plural verb. Example, a number of parents go to the convention. With every blank and many a blank, use a singular verb. Examples Every child needs good nutrition. Many a man keeps trying to succeed. For more videos and updates, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Again, I am Julius. Bye!